Tonight we are gathered with musicians, activists, scholars, and just ordinary human beings who've gathered to speak out against this second crime. The first crime, of course, being the perpetration of genocide and the second one being the denial of that history. And I said this, and I would say this to Abe Foxman directly, if you deny one genocide, you have no right to call yourself a human rights organization if you deny the Armenian genocide. You guys will close up shop. And the ADL is facing an existential moment, believe me. It could break the ADL apart. The New England ADL disagrees with Foxman. The California ADL disagrees with Foxman. If they upstairs don't vote the right way, this could break ADL apart. And maybe it should. Maybe they should learn what a Jewish organization is. Never again means never again for anybody, not just Jews. And supporting their righteous cause, that they're going to support our cause, and showing how people like Abe Foxman can lie to the public, can use the name of the ADL, which is a great name in, in American history. The ADL is known for fighting organizations like the Ku Klux Klan, fighting organizations like the neo-Nazis. But here he is using that great reputation to deny a genocide. This is something that can't be tolerated. And we have to fight it, we have to resist it, and we have to work together to do that. So the Armenian National Committee will continue to work with organizations like JUICY, to show the public what the, what the true historical record is and to make sure that the cause of advancing international human rights continues. Their excuse for calling it a genocide, tantamount to genocide, is not, it's not good enough. And in reality, they're still actively denying the Armenian genocide by saying that this isn't something that we should be debating in Congress, where you would never turn around and debate that with any sort of Jewish sort of legislation that would come up recognizing the Holocaust. Juicy Magazine is, is not really an activist organization. We're, we're a magazine, and yes, we do cater to mostly Jews, but uh, we have more of a universal and, and broad mission statement. Um, and to us, this isn't a Jewish issue. It isn't even necessarily an Armenian issue. It's a human issue and a human rights issue. Anti-defamation is what we're talking about here. and. Very importantly, to remind the organization of its very noble charter, which um, states, and I quote, that the organization's ultimate purpose is to secure justice and fair treatment to all citizens alike. There is no footnote to that charter saying that justice should only be secured if it does not offend strategic allies of the United States or of Israel. But I think Abe Foxman is hoping that no one reads the charter too closely or, or is going to hold him accountable for violating the honorable mission of um, an organization which has been courageous in its work for almost 100 years. The Anti-Defamation League Wonderful. has in the past fought for truth and justice. All we're asking is that it does not abandon that commitment now. Foxman must unequivocally recognize the genocide for what it is, no qualifying terms like tantamount, uh, no weasel words, the language to, to describe it. Stop saying that the jury's still out on, on mass murder, I, and it, it's not. It, it, the jury came in with its verdict a long time ago. Um, the word genocide, by the way, was coined by a Polish Jew, Raphael Lemkin, in 1943, who specifically referred to the Armenian genocide uh, and said that if it happened once, it'll happen again in the 20th century, and he was right. Um, the ADL must also apologize to both the Jewish and Armenian communities for taking the stance that it has. Um, and it has to stop applying pressure to block the resolution from being voted upon and passed in the House of Representatives. Now more than ever, with response to what's happening with America's inability to recognize the Armenian genocide, um, we need everybody. We need to pressure the New York Department of Education to sever ties with the ADL as long as it's going to have this program. We can't have educational programs that are associated with organizations that deny genocide. So that's that's our part. This effort isn't over, it's just begun. Um, regardless of what the ADL decides to do, the Armenian genocide will have always happened and will continue to demand that it be recognized properly. On August 14th, uh, the town of Watertown uh, voted unanimously to sever ties with the ADL. And that kind of uh, started the process of other towns re-examining their 
their association with the ADL. And uh, in the next uh, month and a half or so, another six towns and one city, the city of Newton, sever ties with the ADL. We can make a difference in you know, getting the ADL to change its policy. Uh, there is the website for noplaceforDenial.com in which daily it's updated on everything. So you can watch a lot of the footage, a lot of the press coverage that's going on about this. And obviously we've seen in the last three weeks, 5,000 new articles were written about the Armenian Genocide alone in regards to uh, HRES 106. So definitely I think you know we need to, to keep this in the media. We need to show the response that denial is wrong and through that work with organizations like the ADL to get just recognition. In the summer of 1915, my great-grandmother, she was just 19, held her baby daughter dead in the desert. In 2007, congressmen said it was genocide, and Turkey denied, and Turkey huffed, and Turkey puffed, and Turkey bluffed, and Turkey lied. So the congressman said, it's genocide, not yet. At that moment, I felt sick of being Armenian, denied history, denied justice, and quite frankly, sick of Foxman the man at the ADL treating my history like minor detail, telling me 1.5 million of your people died, that's not genocide. It's tantamount to. Turks didn't mean to, just consequences of to ancient actions. And I heard Foxman wrote to Erdogan, said, I am so sorry for so much sorrow. Then I heard Foxman met with Erdogan, said, you've got my word, Congress should never use the AG word. Then I heard him call for more investigation, re-examination, a joint commission whose only mission is the revision of my history. I've heard this before. Investigation, genocide, that's right, Ahmadinejad. It boils down to this. If Mr. Foxman stands for civil rights, then he has no right to stand in the way of my human rights.